So for today's episode, we're going to talk about rotational motion. So how can we make the movement of this volleyball to be in rotational motion? Rotational motion and real life examples. So it says here in the statement that the motion of a rigid body which takes place in such a way that all of its particles move in circles about an axis with a common angular velocity. Also, the rotation of a particle about a fixed point in space. So if we're going to look deeper in it, the motion of a rigid body, there is a motion, which means the body is moving, which takes place in such a way that all of its particles move in circles. So they move in circles, not straight, not curved, about an axis with a common angular velocity. Also, the rotation, it rotates since it moves in circles of a particle about a fixed point. There is a fixed point wherein the object rotates in space. We have learned in translational motion that these are the quantities that we need to identify and mostly what we are solving in problems. And this has an equivalent also in rotational motion wherein the position from x it became an angular position which is the theta the velocity v became an angular velocity the omega the acceleration a became angular acceleration alpha and these are the motion equations that are mostly used we must also take note of the units to be used Enable for the uniformity and smoothness of solution and solving problems. Were you amazed of those players who do the jump serve? When they are serving, they throw the ball in the air and then hit the ball to the other side of the court. That is where rotation occurs. As they throw it in the air, the ball rotates and the motion is not the curvilinear motion anymore. So, the example one, she's the jump serve volleyball and this is the problem. The server in the game volleyball was about to jump serve. He tossed the ball in the air, causing it to rotate about 60 RPM and constantly rotating before the server hit it to the other side of the court in 2 seconds. What is the angular acceleration of the ball? What we need to identify first is the given and unknown. So we have here the angular velocity which is 60 revolution per minute and time is 2 seconds. So if you could notice it here, they are not uniform in the unit being used. Then unknown is the angular acceleration. And the first thing we're going to do is the conversion. We're going to convert 60 RPM into rad per second. And then here it is. 2 pi rad per second. Next is the use of the formula. Alpha is equals to velocity or angular velocity over time. And we're going to plug in the values. And we get 3.1416 rad per second squared as the angular acceleration of the ball. Another example for rotational motion is most commonly found inside our homes, which is a clock. So if you can see here in our clock, this this is the hours or the hand that um, points in hours. This is for seconds and this is for minutes. So they rotate each time um, the time changes. Next is the clock. The second hand of the clock pointing at 12 constantly rotates at 7.26 times 10 raised to negative 3 rad per second squared. What is the angle of the clock after 25 seconds in rod or and in degree? So we have here the given, the angular acceleration 7.26 times 10 raised to negative 3 rad per second squared and the time 25 seconds. And the unknown is, what we're going to find out is the angular displacement or the theta. Since we 
can have a smooth solution here we don't need to convert we will proceed to the main formula which is the angular velocity is equal to angular displacement over time and then derive angular displacement we have angular velocity times time and since we don't have angular velocity here in the given we're going to derive angular velocity and then using the formula alpha is equal to omega over time and since we have alpha we have time we can solve for it and here is the angular velocity 0 0.1815 rand per second and now we're going to plug in the values in the main formula and then solve for the angular displacement and we have 4.5379 rad and then since we're also finding the angular displacement in degree we're going to convert it 4.5379 rad times 360 degree over 2 pi rad and we have 160 degree and 4.54 radians oh it's broken hey can you roll the tape over here If you can see while the tape is rolling, rotation also occurs, and that is another example of rotational motion. Tape rolls with initial velocity of 0.5 rad per second. After 5 seconds, it rolls 1.2 rad per second. Assuming that the acceleration is constant, what is the angular acceleration? So the given and the unknown, which is the angular acceleration, and the first thing to do is find the main formula so we have in a motion equation an equivalent of it and we're just going to plug in the values to derive for angular acceleration and therefore we have 0.14 rad per second squared there have you ever tried playing spin the bottle and then when the bottle points at you someone will ask you truth or dare the spinning of the bottle is also an example of rotational motion Bonette and her squad plays truth or dare as fast time she spins the bottle takes with a velocity of two revolution per second then bottle points at Keisha, which is 7,150 degrees upward from her, meaning there are 20 revolutions of bottle. If it accelerates at 0.42 rad per second squared, at what time does the spinning stop? So we're going to find the given. We have angular velocity of 2 revolutions per second. An angular displacement of 7,150 degree or 20 revolutions and angular acceleration of 0.42 rad per second squared and we're going to find at what time does the spinning of the bottle stop so the first one since we have not this that revolution per second it's not corresponding with each other and revolution should be converted into radian and 7150 degree also convert into radian and then the formula theta is equals to mega initial t times one half alpha t squared and plug in the values to find t and we find that the time is 8.73 seconds so at 8.73 seconds the bottle stop and points at Isha another real life example of rotational motion is when you observe materials having wheels for example is this stroller if you could see it here it has two wheels wherein it eases the work of um, the force or the loads that are being carried by the stroller example 
five, the wheels. The stroller was pushed, causing the wheels to roll forward, same as the direction of the force light. The wheels, 20 cm in diameter, has an angular velocity of 90 revolution per minute and has traveled 30 meters. What is the linear velocity? What is the angular and linear displacement after 10 seconds? So we have here multiple of unknown. Here's the given. Angular velocity 90 rpm, the diameter 20 cm, and we may find the radius, which is the half of the diameter, which is 10 cm. And then the displacement, which is 30 meters. Now for unknown, we have linear velocity. Angular displacement and linear displacement at t is equals to 10 seconds. First thing to do, convert it since we have used RPM instead of rad per second. And then for A, which is the linear velocity, we're going to use velocity is equals to angular velocity times its radius. And then we plug in the volumes. Therefore, we have 0.9425 meter per second. And the next for B, which is the angular displacement and linear displacement, we have zero, uh, beta is equals to omega times T. Plug in the values and then we have 94.25 radians. And then for linear displacement, so since we have found angular displacement, we'll going to use it to find linear displacement and here it is we have 9.42 meters so at 10 seconds the stroller traveled 9.42 meters the most common example being illustrated in this topic is using a string attaching it to an object sometimes a key enable for it to rotate either vertically or horizontally. And the last example is a string keychain. A keychain is attached to a string 12 inches length in order to swing it in circular motion. At the start of swinging, the velocity is 0.2 feet per second and tangential acceleration is 0.16 feet per second squared. What is the normal acceleration? Find total acceleration and angular velocity. So here are the given, these are the unknown, we have three unknowns. Step 1 is conversion, since we have it here 6 inches, the radius, we'll convert it into feet, so we have 0.5 feet. And then step 2, for normal acceleration, use the formula V squared over R, plug in the values, and we have 0.08 feet per second squared. Step 3, for total acceleration, so we it is the vector sum of the two accelerations, the so normal and tangential. And then we're going to square it and find its square root. We have 0 0.08 squared, 0 0.61 squared. And then we have 0 0.62 rad per second squared. And then find its angle, which is tan negative 1, 0 0.61. And then we find 82.53 degrees. And then for step 4, find the angular velocity. We have a n is equals to omega squared r. Plug in the value since we have solved for a n and we have the rate 0 0.5. It is easier for us to find uh, angular velocity. So these are the answers. And that is all about rotational motion and its real life examples. I hope you learned guys. Thank you for watching.